Tobin, congratulations. You've made it to the third and final level of this competition. And now, we're gonna let you choose which one of our remaining judges you're gonna compete against. Either two-time Forged and Fire champion, Ben Abbott, or historic weapons recreation specialist, David Baker. Who's it gonna be? I'm gonna go with the Baker. All right, then. He's the Baker, and he rocks a vest. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Good to see you, Tobin. David Baker is stiff competition. I'm choosing David because I know it's gonna be a tough challenge. I'm competing for the Breast Cancer Research Fund. Breast cancer is something that's touched my life in a number of different ways. I know how devastating it can be, so the more research we can put towards this, the better we're gonna be. In this third and final level of competition, we're gonna ask you guys to use these to make your blades. Those are stacks of 15 and 20 and 1095 steel. You will have to use those to make a layer Damascus billet from which you will forge your blades. Now, we're not gonna stop with the choices right there. You also have the opportunity to use those stacked billets to make one of these. Your choice of either a spadroon, an ida, or a core sword. Tobin, you get to pick your poison in this round. This will be the blade that both of you will have to make. The thing about the core sword is it is a very wide and heavy sword, and I'm not going to wrestle a sword like that without wasting time. The spadroon has fittings that I've seen David Baker make before, so I kind of want to keep as much advantage to myself as possible. The thing about the Ida is it, it tapers towards the handle instead of tapering towards the tip. And that's actually complex. So it's not an easy choice. The Ida. The Ida. The Ida is a deceptive weapon. It looks very simple. It's not. You've got an integral guard. You've got a blade that has a, a large medial ridge. That's a tough challenge. Gentlemen, you have eight hours to complete this weapon in totality. Good luck, gentlemen. Your eight hours starts now. We have both 15 and 20 and 1095. I cut each one into four inch sections. I use 18 pieces in alternation. My plan is to draw this out and cut it into four pieces and restack. So I'm at 72 layers. Why is it important to have so many layers in Damascus? That makes the pattern pop a lot more. As soon as that goes in the forge, I grab handle material and I start cutting my hand. So how is it being on this side? You know what, I love it. I just love building I know, exactly. Any chance I get to make stuff, I'm there. Get steel out, give it a couple of quick little passes, and everything looks nice and well. I'm hoping I can stretch it out, fold it, stack 42. The first time I came forth and fire was just to have fun. I didn't expect much. A cutlass. Oh. <laughs> Army hearties, we get to make a cutlass. I'm very excited about that. If I'm able to win, then it's going to prove to myself that I'm doing the right thing right now. I get distracted by Dave because he's doing such awesome work. I'm like, ooh, I want to watch. But yeah, I got to focus on doing my stuff. <laughs> Tom's a very talented smith. I want to see him succeed. I want to see him do everything but win. <laughs> In a nice way, you know? <laughs> Blade Smiths, four hours has elapsed. That is half the time in this level of competition. Super duper. There's All right, Dave. so Dave's in a quench. And a nice color to that. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Now my blade's pretty good. It looks really straight. Maybe just a small warp towards the tang. I put it in the vise, straighten it. That's what we're talking about. I'm complaining about that. Sounds hard. I'm getting the bevels forged in, and then at that moment, my fingers in my left hand are starting to go numb. Where's medic? Oh, boy. Tobin's in trouble. I'm starting to feel this numbness creep through my shoulder all the way down to my hand. You ready? Just take deep breaths for me, OK? My blood pressure is up. My heart rate's up. Just trying to calm down. I'm not even worried about what Dave is doing. I got to take care of myself. Your arm feel better? Uh, it's, it's gone. I mean, the tingling's gone. Everything feels OK. It's time to get back to work. Be good. All right, come on. All right, man. I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to 
keep doing what I can with the time that I got and just go from there. I got my blade shaped out. Time to work on my tang. So Tobin's tang is stretching out pretty good. It's ready to go into the oil. Four hours into this competition, I wasn't sure that Tobin was going to walk across the finish line. You got to give him a huge amount of props for being where he is right now. I need to have a mechanical lock. So I drill through the wood, drill through my tang. I'm trying to get my pin in. It doesn't want to go in. Come on. I finally get the pin in, but now I need it to come out because I forgot to put epoxy inside. Really? It's jammed in there. You can't get it out now. And then as I'm trying to pull the pin out, uh-oh. The pin just broke. This is bad because the only thing holding my handle to the blade right now is half of a brass pin. Come on, kid. Kick it into gear. I can punch this out later. I got to go grind. I got to get the handle shape. I'm going to turn in something no matter what. Five, four, three, two, one. Blade Smith, stop what you're doing. This level of competition is over. Hey, come here, brother. <laughs> oh. oh, man. It's an ass kicker, right? That was fun, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> today I feel like I did really good for myself. I didn't stop. And I wasn't going to stop until I heard time's up. <sighs> All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do, I'm going to take your weapon, deliver some lethal slashes and cuts on this ballistics dummy. Dave, you're up first. You ready, sir? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. I'm a little worried. I don't think it matters who you are when you're in competition. You know, you, you can think you nailed it, and then you're there standing in front of your judges, and you're like, if anything could happen. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's nasty. All right, Dave, let's talk about your weapon here. The pattern you have here is beautiful. Your handle construction is clean. I can wrap my hand around it. And when you swing with this, it's balanced enough to where it's a chopper and a slicer. Your edge is sharp. It chops and cleans cleanly. Overall, sir, it will kill. Thank you, Doug. Tobin, you're up next. Ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it anyways. <laughs> OK. Sounds good. <laughs> good luck, brother. I know my blade is light. I know it's fast. But I also know that I made my handle very quickly. And it's not my best work. So it's in the judge's hands now. I can feel it cracking. Gentlemen, take a look at this. You hear all that movement? And as out. I'm trying to do it, I can swing it. It wants to pop out. And the pin doesn't go all the way through. The pin's only going through one side. OK. I just see the judges whispering and holding the handle and shaking the blade. Yeah, I don't think it looks good right now. Do you have confidence in this weapon? No, I do not. Absolutely not. No, no. All right, let's, let's let them know. Tobin, you put in a lot of work, but I think you know what's coming down the pipe. The judges have given your weapon a vote of no confidence. Me, Doug Markite <laughs> is going to tell you why. Tobin, a lot of props for you for pushing through eight hours, going through the health issues and everything else. You did a good job of finishing your blade. But your handle construction is loose. Even just by moving it in the air, I can feel it already loosening up. And you can hear some slight cracking on the handle. To swing that with impact, definitely it's going to be a failure. And safety is always first. Yep. Tobin, unfortunately, your blade is unsafe to test. That means that you cannot win this competition. And Dave, you win. You win the $10,000 that's going to the charity of your choice. And what charity is that, my friend? That's the Breast Cancer Research Fund. All right, man, that sounds fantastic. Come on for it, guys. I agree 100% with the judge's decision. And I'm not disappointed at all. <laughs> A lot of hard work, right? Thank you, sir.
I came here because I had to test myself to see if this is the right way I'll be going. And the fact that I didn't quit, that I persevered and pushed on to the very end, tells me that being a bladesmith is what I want to do. You know, Tobin is a great smith. He had a bit of a health issue, but he came back from that and he kept fighting through. I have a feeling if he hadn't lost that time, we would have been testing two blades.